What's up guys, Sharpen here. Now in my last live stream I said I'm doing System 9 next. But I honestly think I don't have enough time because I'll be gone the whole day after recording this. So I'm giving you guys a tutorial instead. And for a fact, it is a well-anticipated, 100% fixable, bandable extrusions tutorial. Now that is a topic personally very close to me, okay? And I'm glad I'm finally able to present it to you 100% fixed. Bandable extrusions are now a thing. So smash that like button and hit the bell because today we're in for a treat. Also, before I begin, I want to do an animation challenge video and I need your help. Drop a comment right now What do you guys think I can make within one hour and I'll do a live stream episode where I do it in one hour as best as possible Get your comments dropping because I need your suggestions But I think with all that on the side it's finally time we crack this open opening up model bench with the default Steve I want to delete all the body parts because the bendable extrusions problem occurred on the body So we only need the body but we cannot take the body of Steve. We got to make our own body because this is not functioning right. Let's add a new body part, call it body with an exclamation point. And now we add a new body part, call it body one. We're gonna build the body line by line. Yeah, it's a pain, but it's gonna be worth it. Trust me, it's worth it at the end. You'll see exactly what I mean. Give this a surface and it's going to be a face of the body. And now let's open up the UV panel. This, oh my god, this one pixel, this is gonna be one of our faces. Now this face is a surface. As we mentioned before, surfaces can bend very nicely, creating the bendable extrusions effect. So the first line of the body is gonna be built with surfaces, and the rest can use shapes because it uses less, plus you can't see the deformations because they're hidden within the body. So the first line and the last line are gonna use surfaces, the rest are gonna use simple shapes. And we're gonna mess with the pivot offset, putting this to minus four, and the Z being plus two, I think. Duplicate this face, go to UV panel, go for the last one, and now instead of Z2, go for Z minus 2. That's it, I can see the body forming. Duplicate again, UV panel, let's go for the left one like this. Turn it 90 degrees, now I'm not sure which one is it, so let's just do something here. Minus 2, put this to minus 4, I think this is the one, or is it the other one? Duplicate it, go for this one, minus 4, so it's on the other side. This is now our first line of the body. Now I'm just gonna add a new body part, lock on body 1 call it body 2 and we're gonna put that Y1 up. Now we're gonna add a cube and this cube is going to have the shape of the second row of the body. The upper and the bottom texture do not matter for the time being, okay? That's it. Simply put the pivot offset in here and this is your second row. Now duplicate this process to build the entire body all the way up. Now we have a project that is kind of a mess which is expected but we goofed it because I was supposed to make the body bendable now I gotta do it all of them manually. Basically tick on bend, bendable, go for X Y and Z. If I just bend the X as you see what happens, the offset needs to go up by 0.5 and custom size is going to be 1. So technically you have this bendable body now. That's it. We gotta do it for all of them now. Alright, we finally got here. Took me a while, but it's okay. Each line of the body made separately and they all bend. And what I do want to do is give this guy some extrusions. The reason we separate each line is so we can bend smoother. And the pivot offset is in the center for all of them because we only mess with the pivot offset, not with the position itself, except to move it one block up, which makes it normal to bend. They should all be smooth and overlappable. As far as the extrusions go, we can simply add a shape onto it. Hold on. I'm gonna add a new text and it's going to be some farmer pants, I don't know, this thing. We're gonna do this extrusion. This is the first thing that came to mind. Yes, this is Steven's belt or something, whatever he has. Click body one, add a shape, go under the material tab, and it's going to be the farmer pants, I don't know, texture. We're gonna go for the UV panel, and now what I want to do, this is, this is the first line. Basically, I want you to scale down the UV as much as possible, okay? Change the grid size to 0.21, so you can mess with the inner value, so this is a very small now. You can squeeze the entire texture into this one pixel. Now it should be somewhere in here. Yeah, this little tiny cube. We can go for pivot offset. Oh, Jesus Christ. And now what we should do is go for scale and scale up the X all the way to 4. Scale up the Y all the way to 4. And we have one of our extrusions. Now, of course, if you want to position it, go for pivot offset to minus 1. Always the pivot offset. Duplicate this shape. Make it go one slot to the right. And now in here, the pivot offset should should also go for 0.25 because we're gonna move this 0.25 pixels onwards. We're gonna make this each pixel into its own extrusion. A 
Okay, I think you know how the process goes. I'm gonna turn off the camera for my battery's sake and we'll meet you when I'm done. So in the end, I figured out that the best UV size is 0.25 on all three of them and you simply position the square in here, scale it up by four and four and you have a much nicer grid. I was doing it wrong at the beginning and I didn't bother fixing it because it looks fine, okay? This is now my bendable extrusion. If you want a sideways extrusion, hold on, I'm gonna duplicate this and instead of rotating it sideways, do not rotate it sideways, please do not, that breaks it, you have to scale it. So put the X back to one, put the Z up to 4, that is what you should fix. So the Z could go back down to 0, I guess, and the X is what needs to go out by 4. So this is now your sideways extrusion. Let me just build a few of them. I'm not even gonna bother with the texture, I'm just gonna make a few of these here, just so you see it functions nicely. This line has no purpose whatsoever, I just want to show you that it works both ways. Save model as, save it into a folder, save it, save it as a name, and that's your model. Do -do 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 -do. And upon opening Minimeter, we are still in the previous tutorial, let me just delete that real quick. There we go, as if nothing happened. You click this import asset icon, bras for your own model. There you go, 100% bendable extrusions body. You have a whole bunch of these bodies here. This body is just for the controls and this bendable extrusion is the model name. So you have these two which basically don't do anything except this body actually turns. This is for the x-axis, the rest are just bending. So now select all of these bodies, go to here key options and tick on select. So when you will select the first one they will all select. So it makes your job easier. But if you bend this, as you see it's completely flexible. See this? It's not glitching. Bendable extrusions are now a thing, yo! Even the sideways extrusion, it all functions. Look at this. Hell yeah, boy! Oh my god! Back and forth, they all function flawlessly. But if you want to avoid all the hassle with adding each extrusion and all that, you should download sounds.zip's automatic 3D extrusions pack, which is where I've learned this method from. Disclaimer, I did not invent this method. It was sounds.zip before you spread hate in the comment section. The download link to his automated rig will be in the description. He's a talented rigger. This is a hell of a design. Also, I seem to have messed something up because my body are kind of glitching here that should not be happening hold on I think I can fix it here we are and I realized I forgot to add the bottom of this also I think we could fix it by just putting the scale size to 1.001 slightly above one I think this might fix the issue with the bending bodies but if it doesn't we got pretty close and after all most of you are going to use sounds.zip's automatic 3d extrusions pack I recommend using it it's pretty yellow though if I import this again, let's see, it does have a bottom, so this has updated. The moment of truth, guys, is this going to work or not? So select all of these except one, take on select, and now if I bend this, ah, the bending is still kind of funky. But the bendable extrusions do work, and as you see, the body is also very flexible. Damn, look at this! And just so you know, this is an actual model, let me turn the cape off, this is an actual model made with Sam.zip's body. I separately locked the arms and the the head and the legs onto it, added my own extrusions, but the body is made with sounds.zips pack and as you see it's not glitching one single bit, bendable extrusions work 100% properly, so I do recommend you guys trying this thing out. If you want bendable extrusions, this is your pack. Amazing work. Shout out to him. But yeah, that's it. As you saw, it's pretty functional and amazing to look at. He is the one who made it. He can tell you more about it. I was trying to give you a quick insight. Again, the download link for automatic extrusions will be in the description. It was not made by me before we say anything. I really don't want to claim the credits. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and good luck. Stay sharp.